can the Asus ROG Ally edit a video? Yes. That's it. Yes, yes it can. You can, uh, you can stop watching now. Cheers. All right, all right. You are one of the smart ones. You get it. Can the Asus ROG Ally edit a video? Yeah, absolutely. It's a full Windows 11 PC. Of course it can. You're still watching this video for the caveats. It can edit videos, but at what cost? But what does it feel like? But is it worth it? The idea of replacing your massive 17 inch, 20 pound gaming content creation laptop for a sleek little package like this that also doubles as one of the best gaming handhelds on the market right now? Why, why wouldn't you want to know if this can edit your video for you? At first glance, the Ally screams portability, right? It's a gaming powerhouse that you can just throw in your bag and go. But then you start adding some of the necessary accessories and suddenly it's kind of like a Frankenstein's monster. This setup is far from portable, exactly. So I want to walk you through what this setup looks like at first, just so you can get a visual idea, right? First off, if you're going to be portable with this kind of system, you need something like this. You need a case on it to protect the screen, to protect, uh, to protect the joysticks, right? And those are pretty cheap. Honestly, you should probably be getting one anyways, uh, but it's just one of those extra things that a laptop can do just by closing itself. The next thing that you're gonna need is a dock. Now this is, uh, this is the dock from JSOX and it is um, pretty solid, pretty standard. It gives you somewhere to place your Ally as well as charging it, gives you all of the extra ports that you're gonna need. And of course, it doesn't fit the Ally with this case that I have on it. So figure out where to put that. Now we're able to dock it. So once we're able to dock it, we have to plug it all in. Luckily I have a power strip right out of view here that uh, is also very, very helpful. So now the power cable for the Ally actually goes right into the dock. And now, as you can see, it is lit up RGB and it's ready to go. It isn't quite ready to edit videos yet though. A mouse and keyboard, something that is technically built into the laptop already, although you'd probably at least want an external mouse, um, is uh, necessary for something like video editing. Um, definitely not something that I would want to be trying to do by itself. So we've got the keyboard, we've got the mouse, we are ready to edit videos, right? But honestly, I don't think that it's actually possible to edit a video on this tiny little screen. I really believe if this is something that you want to do seriously, you need an external monitor. Now I went and found one of these really slick Arzopa portable monitors. So it is really thin. You can, um, you can see that it, it, fits, it fits in your bag just like any other laptop would very, very small, very compact. And this normally could just plug in via USB-C, but unfortunately, unlike other laptops, the ROG Ally doesn't output enough power to be able to actually power this device through its USB-C port. So it needs to be plugged in not only via HDMI, but also via USB-C. Now, if I had a, another laptop that was able to put out more power through the USB-C ports, it would be able to actually power and run video through to this monitor at the same time. And of course, after I plug in the, uh, after I plug in the monitor, you actually are seeing 
One of the issues that I ran into when I took this whole setup to my parents' place for the holidays. I'm not even gonna be able to get this thing to work for the demo, am I? Plugging the monitor into separate power in the uh, on the on the surge protector then uh, is is making it function now. And of course, we'll have to fix the display because it doesn't want to do 1080p for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. And then of course, once you get all of this functioning, you need your video. You need the, uh, the video that you had on your SD card, which I have uh, handily here in my Geekodo memory card reader, um, which is again, something you'll probably want to get, something, an actual card reader, because we all know that the card reader on the Ally might not be the most reliable thing. But again, now we need to plug something else into the Ally. And ideally, we are copying the data over to the Ally and not using it off of the SD card because that might be a little bit slow and honestly not ideal to run video editing off of your SD card. Which brings me to another point about the Ally coming in right at that default of 500 gigabytes of hard drive storage. When it comes to video editing, especially if you're gonna be in 4K, that's not gonna last very long. Especially if you are using this to double for playing games. You're either uninstalling all of your games or you better be making some pretty short videos. So all in all, connecting everything is, is honestly just kind of a hassle. Yeah, turns out not exactly plug and play. So now, honestly at this point, once you finally get everything set up, once you finally get all of your data transferred over to your Ally, once you're finally in editing mode, it's not actually too bad. Now, I, ha I do have to say, the external monitor that I purchased is one of the least expensive options on Amazon. So the colors aren't the best. Not perfect if you're gonna be doing a lot of color grading, a lot of high-end cinematic type of videos, but just putting together some videos like I've been making, not a huge deal. But that's just another one of those things that you have to think about, whereas typically a higher-end gaming-focused, content creation-focused laptop is gonna have a pretty high-end monitor already built into the device. All right, so all of this said and done. Can the Asus ROG Ally replace a content creator's laptop? Technically, yes, but practically it's a, it's a tough sell. Can the Ally edit a video? Absolutely. There's no reason why it can't. It's just probably not the most efficient at doing so. Between the extra accessories, the constant troubleshooting, and the limited storage that the Ally comes with by default, it's not making my life any easier. It is really fun to use, don't get me wrong, and I love making and theorizing and testing videos like this, but if you're serious about content creation, a proper laptop or even a desktop will probably save you a lot more time and frustration. In a pinch, this is what I've actually been using as my mobile device right now, and it is working. If you do wanna see what it looks like to have the ROG Ally edit your video, you can actually take a look at this one right over here. This is the one that I edited over the holidays with my Ally. Either way, I'm going to pack all of this back up and probably play some games instead. See you in the next one.